Herd immunity from COVID may not be here yet for most of North Texas. That includes Dallas County, which reached the presumed goal this week, according to one health group. Our Jason Allen reporting now that what now defines herd immunity keeps changing. While Dallas County may have reached the magic number of positive tests and shots to ward off COVID-19, other North Texas counties haven't. They aren't even estimating when they might get there, especially since they're not entirely certain what the target is. It, it is a moving target. And the reason why we're focusing so much on speed and getting as many people vaccinated early on was to hopefully stay ahead of variants like Delta. The CDC says herd immunity is the point where enough people are immune to a virus to make it spread from person to person unlikely. The Parkland Center for Clinical Innovation calculated this week Dallas County was there with 80% of people having had the virus or the shot. But that arrived as cases are ticking up slightly with more contagious strains, so it's not the end. The significantly higher viral ro loads and more infections of the Delta variant has could push the herd immunity target as high as 88% to really supp suppress infection spikes. It's not as clear where other parts of the region stand. Denton County doesn't provide immunity estimates. Neither does Tarrant County, where there are also discrepancies on how many people have received vaccinations. Officials told me they're tracking numbers daily, but they're not there yet. It's important that we understand that we still have some work to do. In Fort Worth, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News. Five and BioNTech plan to request U.S. emergency use authorization for a third booster dose, basically, of its COVID-19 vaccine. They say that another shot within 12 months could dramatically boost immunity, maybe even help ward off the worrisome Delta variant. This is after a study released in Israel this week shows that the Pfizer vaccine currently is about 64 percent effective at preventing the infection from the Delta variant. Neither Pfizer nor the government, for the record, is recommending booster shots at this very moment until the safety and effectiveness can be fully explored.